I, like everyone else, was given the keep it short speech. So I want to start promptly by sending a special tribute to my dear friend, Miss Virginia McNamara, who's in the hospital now, but wish dearly that she could be with us this evening. I also can't let this evening go by without thanking the people on table 10. They, <laughs> they are my haven, harbor, and endless inspiration. My husband, Ernie, my sister extraordinaire, Jeannie Mitsuhara, my niece here, Teruko, and my friend and colleagues, Maya Matson and Omi Pacheco. I also can't let this evening go by without giving a long overdue tribute to a special group of teachers. I want to send this tribute specially to the teachers at the Title I school and the educators. Okay. Like my colleagues at Prairie Elementary, like my principal, Fazia Kevel, and my vice principal, Carla Victor. These are the people that wake up every morning ready to educate some of the most challenging student population and their families. They are some of the most audacious, masterful, and yes, obstinate, <laughs> romantic idealists. That's my privilege to work besides. This tribute is for all of you. Finally, this evening is all about this ma magnificent collective of teacher honorees, isn't it? Do you know that what you all do is huge? With the, your inexorable insistence on placing our children first, you rock the conscience of a state and a nation that has yet to place our children at its highest priority with consistency and conviction with your rigorous scrutiny of your practice and your high level and standard, you elevate not only the teaching profession, you also elevate the hearts, mind, and future of our students. And because public education aspires to educate all our children, your exemplary effort and powerful commitment advances the fellowship of our community. What a pleasure it is and an honor for me to stand amongst you this evening. I celebrate each and every one of you. Thank you. <laughs>